In this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve mean, median, and mode of ungrouped data. So let's have some numbers. We have 1, 2, 4, 7, 9, and 12. So these are sets of numbers. And we want to know the mean, median, and mode of this set of numbers. So what does it mean by these three? What does it mean if you are tasked to find the mean, median, and mode of a set of numbers or data? So these three are what you call measures of central tendency. They are called measures of central tendency because they are telling you what is the value of the center of the set of data. So by looking at these numbers, you will, you can estimate the value of the center where it is located around here. So it's around higher than 4 but uh, less than by 7. So in short, by just observing the data, you can estimate but you can't get the closest or exact value of the center. And that's the reason why you will compute mean, median, or mode. So let's have the set of numbers again, and we're going to find the mean. So mean is what you call the average. So if you know how to find the average, that's actually the mean. Mean is denoted by the symbol, an x bar. And the formula to find the mean is, this is equal to the sum of the values, meaning you're going to add all the numbers, divided by the number of values, meaning how many there are numbers there are. Here in this case, it's 6. So that's the number of values. And let's try to solve it. So that the total num uh, the sum of the numbers, if you add them all, it's 35, divided by how many numbers there are. There are 6. And then we divide. We use calculator to solve this. So this is only approximately, we cannot put the whole, the exact value because this is uh, a very infinitely long number, so we have to round up. And when we round up, we use the symbol instead of equals. It's approximately equal to because it's not the exact value. So this is approximately equal to 5.83. It's because the exact value is 5.83333 and so on. So we round off up to two decimal places. So that's the mean. As you can see, uh, 5.83 is located right exactly in the middle of the sets of data. Now let's say we're going to add one number. So let's say we're going to add 200. And let's try to find uh, the mean of this set of data. So the mean is equal to, so it was 35 and we added 200. So it's a total of 235 divided by, it's not anymore 6 because we added 1, so it's all 7. So if you, if you divide this 235 by 7, it's approximately equal to 33.57. Now where is this 33.57? It's located here. And that is actually not in the center. So it is giving you uh, a false center or middle where it is supposed to be a measure of central tendency, but it's not telling you the right center of the data. So this is a false center, a false middle. It's because of this number. This number pulls the, the, the average or the mean from the rest of the usual numbers because it's very far from the rest. It's 200 and the numbers are just from 1 to 12. And so this number is what you call an outlier. It is a number that affects the result of the, the mean or the average. And in this case, getting the center using the mean is not appropriate to use. And so we have an alternative. So we're going to use median. Median is actually the middle of the set of data. And it is denoted by this symbol, an X wiggle. And 
median is actually middle of an array. And what is an array? It is an ordered arrangement. So that means median, in other words, is a middle of an ordered arrangement. It's either an arrangement from smallest to biggest or from biggest to smallest. In either ways, it's still the same value in the middle. Now let's find the median. So let's pair the numbers. We have 1 and 200, 2 and 12, 4 and 9. And we have exactly uh, exact middle, which is 7. And so the median is equal to 7. That means that's the center of the set of this data. So let's have another example. We have these numbers and we're going to find the median of this set of numbers or data. Now our problem is this is not arranged in order. So we need the array for this data or numbers. So let's start with 1 and then 4, then 5, and then 8, 12, and 15. So this is arranged from smallest to biggest or you may do the vice versa biggest to smallest it will be the same result and then we're gonna find the middle so let's pair 1 15 4 and 12 5 and 8 so there's no exact number in the middle that means the, the median or the center of the data is around in between 5 and 8 and so let's find the median. So this is how you find the median if there's no exact number in the middle. So this is equal to, we're going to add 5 and 8, which is 13, and then divide by 2. So 5 plus 8 divided by 2. That is equal to 6.5. So it means the center of the data or the median is 6.5. Now how about this? We have 3, 2, 2, 8, 2, 2, and 1. So this is not arranged in order and we want to find the middle of this data. Although there is no, um, an, there's no outlier, so that means it's possible for us to use mean to find, us, to find the center. But for now, let's just find the median of this because it's still median is applicable for data because it's not affected by the values of the given uh, data or numbers. So let's arrange it from smallest to biggest and here you go 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, and 8. So what's the center of this? So the center is 2. So let's, as you observe it's all uh, 7 and there's an exact center. and the center is actually the most repeating number. And in most cases, uh, the center, if there is a, a repeating number, it is usually the center of the data. And so you don't need to arrange them. So it, at least it will save time. Although in, in not, uh, all, not at all case that it is the middle. But if there is a dominating number that is all, it is mostly repeating then probably that is the center and we call that the mode so instead of using a mean and a median when there is mostly repeating a dominant number we use the mode to find the center so mode is the most repeating number or data so mode is denoted by this symbol and it is just equal to the most repeating number in this case it is 2 so it, the mode is telling you that the center of the data set is the most repeating, which is 2. Now how about this? We have this set of data. As you can see, it's already arranged from smallest to biggest. So at least it, we will save time in finding the median. So our task is to find the three central tendency, mean, median, and mode. So let us find first the mean. 
mean is equal to we add all the numbers it's all 24 divided by how many numbers there are all six and then we divide 24 by 6 which is equal to 4 then we're gonna find the median so median is finding the exact middle of the data set so we're gonna pair the, the first and the last and the rest of the numbers 4 and 5 and 4 and 4 but then there is no exact middle in our data set because it's even so we're gonna use the, the alternative solution for finding the median so we'll add 4 plus 4 is 8 divided by 2 is 4 now for mode so we're gonna find the most repeating number the most repeating number is 4 so observe that our mean median and mode are having the same value so if a data or a, a set of numbers are having uh, the same number of these three central tendencies then this data is what you call normally distributed it's important for you for us to know uh, when the data is normally distributed because there are formulas which are only applicable to use in set of data that is normal so if it's not normal then you have to convert it into normal and you will learn that in the further discussion the, the next video the future videos that i'm going to discuss thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section